y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this is my channel where i share all about my knitting crocheting crafting adventures and this video today is all about summer sock camp 2021 our second annual summer sock camp and i am so unbelievably excited to be doing this again and to sit down and share all of the details about camp with you. So last year was our very first summer sock camp. I never in a million years imagined that so many people would be interested in participating and have so much fun with camp. I know that I was excited about it because I'm sock obsessed, but I just never thought that it would be quite what it was. And in preparing for this year's, I've just been even more excited about it. So I thought I would do a video this year, I have a ton of notes right here, and give all of the information and have it in one video. That way, um, if anyone has any questions, you know, hopefully this video will answer those. If not, I am always available to answer any questions that you have. But I thought it would be great to just have one set video specifically for camp to go over all the details because we have everything that went on last year, like everything's coming back that was going on during camp last year but then we also have some fun additions to summer sock camp 2021 so we're going to go through all of that if you are just finding this video and you're new to this channel you can find me on instagram and ravelry as the crazy sock lady and then we do have a group for this crazy sock lady community on ravelry and i will have links to everywhere that you can find me shops that i talk about everything's going to be right down below so first up, here's our logo for Summer Sock Camp 2021. It is, again, absolutely perfect. Tiffany, who has done last year's logo as well as this year's, does such an amazing job. I'll put it big on the screen so you can see all of the details, the fireflies, the socks, the campfire. It is perfect. I could not have asked for a better logo. Um, I loved last year's as well. They've both just been so good. So this um, shirt, I'll talk more about merchandise and things later as we get on to it and how you can get this shirt. But this year's logo is just amazing and it has inspired some super amazing items for sponsors, which is new for this year. And we'll talk about those. Those are a little later on in the notes. But first, what is Summer Sock Camp? If you did not participate last year, you may be wondering, what is this thing that I keep hearing about? Um, I know I've had so many new people that have asked, what is camp? I wasn't around last year, I just found you. So we're gonna go through it all, don't worry. Um, first up, there, there are kind of a, a couple of different parts to summer stock camp. So there is the camp portion and camp runs June 1st to July 31st. Then there is the knit along portion of this and that runs June 1st to August 31st. So there are kind of two different legs to this and we'll go through each of those and what they mean. So for the camp portion, of course, I mean, how amazing would it be if we were in person? Maybe one day. That's kind of the goal is one day to have this in-person event over the summer for a long weekend where we can get together and and just have a, like an in-person summer sock camp. But that's way down the road. So right now it's all online. And what the camp portion is, is there are new sock tutorials that I will put out. Last year I put out three different how to knit sock tutorials. Uh, vanilla socks on nine inch, vanilla socks on magic loop, and vanilla socks on DPNs. So there were three big tutorials that came out at the beginning of camp last year, and then just some different technique tutorials that came out throughout camp. Um, a two at a time, contrast heel, toe, and cuff. You can find all of those here on the tutorial playlist on Crazy Sock Lady YouTube. So new sock tutorials will be coming out. The main ones this year is how to knit socks on two circulars to 16 inch circulars is what I recommend and prefer when doing that. But then there's also going to be how to knit socks on Haya Haya flyers or Addy Flexi Flips. They're both the same, just different brand. So if you have a preference, um, I like Haya Haya's better. So I went with that. But they will be vanilla socks, cuff down. 
I know, I know, so many of you asked for toe up for this year's camp, but we moved across the country this year and I just did not have the time. <laughs> That's the honest truth. I did not have the time to dive into learning toe up and I will never put together a tutorial for y'all if I am not confident that I can teach it because I wanna be able to help y'all. Um, I've said that so many times, but it's, it's the truth. I will never rush anything. I will never put out a tutorial for something just off the fly that I've just learned because I want to be confident in what I am teaching. Otherwise, how can I teach it? it just, that doesn't make sense in my brain for me and how my brain works. Um, so maybe next year. I'm not gonna make any promises. This year, I just did not have the time to dive into everything toe up. So there are gonna be cuff down tutorials this year again. Um, there will not be written patterns to go along with these. So last year I had written patterns for all of those different tutorials. There will not be written ones this year. I'm going to recommend you just follow the Vanilla Socks on Magic Loop because the techniques are gonna be the same as far as you have a needle one, you have a needle two. It's all gonna be the same as how you would do it Magic Loop. There will be some other technique videos just like last year that will be released throughout camp. Um, but the main ones, there'll be two two circulars, and high a high of flyers, and those will go up at the start of camp on June 1st. So camp, um, you do not have to be learning to knit socks to try to um, participate in camp. You do not have to be learning a new technique. If you have your technique down and you're like, yeah, whatever, I've tried all those other ones, I've got mine, knit your socks. You don't have to learn anything new. You don't have to be a new sock knitter, but I do encourage you. And I think it's fun. If you maybe have wanted to try socks, and you never have jump in and try during camp. If you have even the slightest inkling that maybe you want to try a new technique, a new way of working in the round for socks, do it during camp. I do encourage that, but it is not required. You can have your technique down and you can knit your socks however you want. So camp will also include just like last year's weekly Instagram lives for you to check in with me, Camp Counselor K, and we can chat. I think last year, were they like an hour long? I can't even remember. I think I just went as long as Instagram would let me and that was an hour. Um, those will rotate days. They will always be at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but the days of the week that those happen on will change so that I can try to get everybody in that maybe can't make it on a Wednesday. Maybe you can make it on Thursday or Friday. So I'm gonna rotate days during the week for each week, but there will be weekly Instagram live check-ins. Um, there is also an email address during camp that you can email me at summersockcamp at gmail.com and ask for help. Um, I'm always available, always. I always tell people, email me if you have a question. Um, but during camp, I have that specific email set aside for you to get help. And whereas my other email, I might only check in on it, uh, you know, every other day. I try every day, but during camp, it's gonna be more in depth and I can be there to help you more if you have trouble with getting a good fit or with a new technique you're learning, anything and everything, you can message me and I will do my very best to help you with your sock knitting. This year we will have an addition, which I will go into more detail in just a bit, but it'll be a VIP camper option that you'll get some extra added benefits, um, but we'll go over that in just a bit when we get to the sponsors and merchandise section for camp. So that is kind of the camp portion of it. Um, the knit along portion that is held in the Crazy Sock Lady Ravelry group. And we do have four different cabins. So just like if you were at a camp, there are cabins. There's four of them. There is the Magic Loop cabin, double pointed needles cabin, nine inch circular cabin and wild card cabin. And the wild card cabin can include anything two circulars, high high flyers, crocheted socks, anything and everything else can go in that wild card cabin. So with the cabins, this there's gonna be a chatter and a finished objects thread for each cabin. When it comes time to putting your finished objects in or chatting even about the socks that you're working on, um, for that particular pair that you're working on, you can do as many as you want during camp, try as many different techniques, enter into as many different cabins. There are no rules as far as that. Um, but say I'm knitting a pair of socks magic loop, but I'm doing them toe up and two at a time, 
where would I enter that? Magic loop. <laughs> um, anything like that. It doesn't matter if you do them two at a time, cuff down, toe up. It's just the method of how you are knitting them in the round. So if it's magic loop, it goes in magic loop. It doesn't matter if it's cuff down, toe up, two at a time, magic loop. Two circulars, that's the wild card cabin. This year you will have a chance to enter your finished object twice if you are using a sponsor item or merchandise. So if you're using a specific sponsor item, their camp item, I'll show those in just a moment. But if you are using um, one of the yarns or the bags, you can post your picture twice in the finished objects thread. And don't worry about trying to remember all of this information. All of the details for the, the knit along will be in those threads. So you can always go double check there and see how to do these things. Um, but if you're using any of my merchandise that I'll have, or a sponsor item, you can post that finished object twice, finished pair of socks twice. Okay, does that cover, let me double check. I think that covers everything kind of with camp. There aren't really like huge specific rules and guidelines to follow. I just want y'all to come and enjoy knitting socks together. The cabins for the chatter threads for those were so fun to jump into last year. Everybody sharing tips and tricks and chatting about their socks and making new friends through sock knitting. It was really just a fun way for everybody to come together. Um, that I don't know, it just blew my mind how much it really brought everybody together. It definitely exceeded my expectations for that. And I, I hope that this year is going to be even bigger as far as that goes. All right, sponsor items. I only have two here in person to show you, but I have photos of the other two, so I haven't gotten them in the mail yet, and I wanted to make sure I got this video out before, like within enough time for y'all to watch it and prepare for the sponsor's updates. So I will show pictures of the ones that I do not have. We have four different sponsors this year for camp. Two yarn sponsors two bag sponsors. So you have options and you can get all four because I want all four. <laughs> They're all so good. There's no way I cannot have all four of them. So the first one is Desert Vista Dye Works. She is doing a self-striping yarn this year. She also did a self-striping yarn last year inspired by the colors in last year's logo. This year she's done one inspired by the colors from this year's logo. I'm gonna pull my phone out because I have all of the details <laughs> for sponsor items on my phone. Okay. There's so much that I, do, I don't want to miss giving you guys all the information. So all of the sponsor items are gonna go up for sale on April 1st. I will have all these details in the description box below and links to all these sponsors. Make sure that you head over and follow them. So if anything gets changed, as far as their update goes, you're gonna find out that information from them. I'll of course share it as well, but that's gonna be the best place to find out information about their updates if anything changes from what um, information I have right now. So Desert Vista Dye Works, self-striping yarn, inspired by this year's logo but she is also going to have last year's yarn available as well because she has still had people that have hated that they missed out on last year's yarn and really want it. So she's gonna have that yarn available as well. Both of those are gonna go up for pre-order on April 1st for the 2020 and 2021 camp colorways. Free US shipping, that is available for both of those until April 20th. The pre-order will stay open until May 1st for the 2020 colorway. The pre-order for the 2021 colorway will be open throughout the summer. How that's gonna work, skeins that are ordered by April 15th, so opens April 1st. If you order by April 15th, those will ship by May 15th. So that gives that half a month for them to arrive to you after they are shipped for camp to start. So if the, you wanna use these yarns for camp, you should hopefully, fingers crossed, postal service, 
please, <laughs> you should have those in time for the start of camp um, by June 1st. If they are ordered after April 15th, then they will go into her regular shipping schedule. And that'll just, that differs and varies from time to time. So you could find out that information on her website if you order after April 15th. And yes, hers will go up April 1st is when the pre-order for both of those will go up. Next, we have our one of our bag makers, Vita of So Crazy Crafter, and she has done a drawstring bag with the Summer Sock Camp logo embroidered onto the front. She's going to have two different options for the fabric on the, you can see at the top of the bag in the picture here, purple and gray, and these glow in the dark. Let me pull the picture up here. So it's an interesting picture because <laughs> it's from my computer, um, but they are gonna glow in the dark. Look how fun that is. The fireflies glow in 2021. So I think that is super cute and such a unique idea. So Vita's update is going to be April 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern. Okay, the other two items I do have in person here to show you. The next one is our other yarn dyer. And this is Amanda of Mandy's Makings. And I've actually already knit up one sock <laughs> using this yarn. So here is Amanda's logo. And this is her Summer Sock Camp 2021 colorway. So there's a full skein and then a 20 gram mini skein. So pretty. Wait, do you see the sock? So I've got one done and one in progress. <laughs> I am doing shorty socks with these. These are so much fun. I love how she got the blue and then she got some of the other colors in the yarn for camp. And that yellow mini is just perfect with it. So that's the one sock I've got done and then I've just got another started here. So she's gonna have those sock sets with the full gram, full gram, the full skein. <laughs> and the 20 gram mini skein. And that's gonna be again on April 1st. Her update is going to be at 10 a.m. Central is when that one will take place. The last one is a bag from Carrie of Stolen Minutes. And this is one of her zippered small sized bags. And look at that, she's got the logo on the front and the back on both sides so no matter which way you're holding that bag or that bag sitting everyone's gonna see that logo there's her tag and then she's got her black and white stripes which is her signature fabric that's on all of her bags has the stitch marker, progress keeper ring. You can put scissors, needles. I put all kinds of stuff on there. But yes, I love this gingham fabric. To me, this was just like perfect when she showed me this because it just reminds me of like a picnic, just laid out on the grass or a tablecloth on a picnic table. I mean, how perfect is that for summer camp? So I am so excited about this. And now that I've shown this, I'm actually gonna put, I haven't, used it yet which i can't really show it on instagram or anything yet until this video goes up but i can use it i'm gonna put my mandy's makings yarn down in here and this is now going to be this bag and carrie's update will take place on april 1st as well um Susan and Carrie did not give me a specific time for their updates. Susan said she may even have hers up on March 31st. Um, with her, Susan's Desert Vista Dye Works, there's, you know, she's going to have that open all summer. So there's really no, like, huge rush on that. I know Carrie said that they anticipate that they're going to have plenty for everybody, um, spots for everybody. So she didn't give me a time either. She said she would probably have them up the morning of April 1st when she gets up. So... Definitely follow them. If they have newsletters, sign up for their newsletters. I know that Carrie does. Um, 
That way you are completely up to date with everything going on with their updates. I know that all of them will post everything when it is available. And I will as well on my Instagram once I see that they have the things in their shops that the updates are taking place. I will get everything posted. So follow me on Instagram, follow all of them on Instagram, and you will know all of the details. I am so excited about all of these. I know I had people last year that wanted me to do like hits with the items um, and yarn. I'm not gonna do that this year. That's just something that I can't do out of my house. It's just, it can become, become total chaos. Um, so everyone is gonna be shipping all of their own items from their shops. That's just how it's gonna, gonna work the best for all of us, so. So as far as my merchandise goes, these shirts, this shirt right here that I'm wearing, um, there'll be plenty of other shirt options, sweatshirts, tank tops, mugs, water bottles, all of that kind of stuff. It's the same type of stuff if you've went over and looked at Crazy Sock Lady or Scrappy Sunday merchandise. All of those options will be up for Summer Sock Camp on April 20th. So for, with mine, there's no like worry of it ever selling out with the Spreadshirt stuff because that's all through them. I mean, I guess they could sell out of a type of t-shirt or something like that, but um, there's no mad rush to try to get, you know, I only have a limited amount of them or something. So tons of different options. I will have the color logo and then I think I'm gonna do just the black and white logo as well because I know some people do prefer that. So those will all be over on Spreadshirt April 20th. I will have enamel pins and progress keepers. I'll put photos of those up here. Those will go up on April 20th as well. Those I will be shipping myself. Those two items, that's the only thing I'm shipping myself this year, but those will be up in my Etsy shop April 20th. And then the merchandise in the Spreadshirt shop, same day. Now we will have the VIP camper option for this year. I am super excited about this option. It's just a little bit more in depth of an option for campers. I have a full page here to run through of what that will entail. So there will be limited spots for this. Camp itself runs a total of nine weeks and there will be eight weeks with VIP camper slots, 15 slots per week. These will be going up for sale April 15th. I'll give you all the details in just a moment, but April 15th is when those are gonna go up for sale. What it will include is you will get a discount code that's good all throughout camp and the knit along that runs to the end of August 31st for any of my designs. It's going to be a pretty good discount um, for those. You will get an exclusive pattern that is just available to VIP campers through June and July. Then it will go up to the public August 1st. So that if you were not a VIP camper, you could still get that and knit it for the last month of camp. But VIP campers are gonna have that pattern to themselves for those, those two months of camp. You will have Zoom knit nights. So there'll be 15 campers per week. So just say we're in the first week. Um, we have our 15 VIP campers and one night throughout that week. And I will put individual listings for each week when these go up in Etsy. And within that listing, it will say what the date and time is for the Zoom knit night. That way you can try to pick one that you can make. If you cannot make it to that Zoom knit night, I will record them and you can watch it later um, if something comes up and you can't make it. Those Zoom knit nights will run an hour and a half and it will be me, the 15 VIP campers for that week. And then we may have some sponsors jumping in as well. Each sponsor is gonna have the option to jump in for two um, Zoom knit nights. And then there will be different ways that you can win prizes on those Zoom knit nights, prizes from myself, and then some exclusive prizes from the sponsors as well. And since there are nine weeks in camp and we're only having eight weeks with 15 slots of VIP campers um, each week, on that last final week of camp, we're gonna have a Zoom knit night as well. And I will put that in the listings as well, what that last one is gonna be. and. Every single VIP camper 
can jump onto that knit night. It'll kind of be like a closing ceremonies for camp. So everybody can join onto that. All of the sponsors can join on if they want. Um, I've not made it a requirement that they have to join these, but if they want to join them, they're certainly welcome. I think it would be fun for you guys to get to meet um, a sponsor and then have some prizes. But yeah, on that last and final week, we'll all jump in together on that knit night. All of the VIP campers, myself, any sponsors that want to join, and we'll just kind of have a fun evening together. You know, if any VIP campers want to talk about what they've learned or that's always a good time to have questions um, answered. I think it'll be so much fun to kind of have a smaller, I think 15 is a good number for a knit night um, like that. And we can kind of chat about what we're working on and what we're learning and different things that we want to try. Or I just think it's going to be so much fun to have that option this year. So um, I'm looking into a couple of other things for the VIP campers as well. All of the details will be within that listing. I'm looking at some apps. I think it would be fun to have the option for VIP campers to have a chat where for that week we can all chat away um, outside of like we'll have the knit night but then have a chat that takes place all week that we can talk about the socks that we're working on. So all of the details will be in the listings when they come out. The cost for the VIP camper slot is going to be 25 US dollars. And that includes everything that I have mentioned. It's all included in that $25 VIP camper fee. There will be some things that you want to make sure you do when you purchase one of those VIP camper slots. This is super important and I will have it in the listing, but I know sometimes people get excited and don't read those. So the listings are gonna go up on Etsy. I think Etsy is just going to be the best place to do it. Um, if that changes, I will definitely update everybody. But right now, that's what I'm thinking is going to work the best. These will go up on April 15th on Etsy. You want to make sure that you give me your email address and your Ravelry ID in the notes to seller. I have to have those because I have to have a way to send you the Zoom link. And then if you want your pattern, pattern, excuse me, on Ravelry, I have to have a way to send that pattern to you because the pattern's not, you're not going to get it on April. It's going to come out June 1st. So I have to have a way to send you those things. Um, email, Ravelry ID, or just a note if you don't want the Ravelry. So that email address, you want to make sure it's a good email address that you're checking, you're using because it's going to have the Zoom information. If I do the chat as well with the VIP campers, it's going to have all the information for how you can log into that chat. You're going to get the discount code that way. All of that information is going to be sent out when we get closer to camp. So like the first week, you'll get that a couple of days ahead is what I'm looking at. Um, getting that all of that information to those VIP campers a couple of days before your VIP camper week starts so that you can have everything in one place and ready to go. So that's super important if you get a slot. Like I said, it's gonna be in the um, listing, but I for sure need your email address, for sure. <laughs> to make it super easy, I've gotta have your email address in that notes to seller. And I think that pretty much covers it. I'm gonna put a ton of notes down below this video for all of the information that I have talked about. Um, that way, when it comes, specifically when it comes to the sponsor items, merchandise, VIP camper slots, I want all of that down there. And then, like I said, if anything changes, make sure you're following the sponsors, make sure you're following me um, over on Instagram. Everything will be updated over there if anything should change as far as dates, times, etc. But I hope that you guys are excited about Summer Slot Camp. I cannot wait for it to start. I can't believe that like it's March and I'm already like prepping and talking about camp and giving you guys information. I can't believe that I have sponsors this year. Like, oh my goodness. I am just over the moon excited about this. Like I said, hopefully one day we'll be in person doing a summer sock camp that would be amazing but for right now let's all join together virtually i can't wait to chat with you guys on the instagram lives that was so much fun last year so much fun and i know the vip camper slots are going to be awesome this year as well i can't wait to kind of have a smaller group and have that interaction via that zoom knit night um because instagram lives while they are awesome and i get to interact with you guys through you comment and i answer questions or chat that way i think it'll be so much fun to see you guys and chat that way 
So definitely keep an eye out. We'll chat more about camp as it comes, but I hope that this information video was helpful because I know so many of you have had questions about camp and it's kind of hard for me to answer them over and over again. So hopefully this will be the spot to get any and all questions answered about camp. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know below if you're excited about camp, what you're most excited about with camp. Will you be trying a new technique, learning socks for the first time or just going sock crazy and knitting as many socks as you can during camp because that's what I'm going to be doing right here. Me, I'm already like dreaming about all the yarn that I'm going to cake up and just, I might just see this year how many socks I can knit during camp. Would that be crazy? To see exactly how many I can do. I think that's what I'll have to do this year. So let me know down below, what are your goals, plans? What are you thinking about with camp this year? And I will chat with you guys again soon. Until then, happy making. Bye.